This week, we introduced you to a violinist from Ukraine, now living here in North Texas. Right now, her family living in fear of an invasion by Russian troops. But tonight, our Alexis Wainwright reports that young lady received a huge surprise during her performance with the McKinney Philharmonic Orchestra. It was a packed house tonight. The orchestra played in front of more than 600 people, and the soloist dedicated her performance to her family in Ukraine. <laughs> Meet violinist and concert master Marina Dechenko. She's lived in Fort Worth for 10 years, but she's originally from Ukraine. She received a surprise of a lifetime from her friends, who also play in the McKinney Philharmonic Orchestra. We are going to be presenting her a check um, from the orchestra funds. And some of the orchestra members have uh, chipped in and donated their own money. Orchestra members like Fedor Malhim. Well, Marina is my friend. And uh, I know that she has relatives in the Kharkov. And uh, this is a huge strategy. Dechenko's mother and grandmother still live in Kharkiv. They cannot go anywhere. They're like living in complete horror 24 hours. They don't, they, they sleep sometimes. They hope the $1,000 check will help. She's a longtime member of the orchestra that's grown into a family. The orchestra loves her, um, and we want, her, we want the best for her. And this is a tough time for her, and we feel for her. Her solo performed to pay tribute to her family as they continue to stay in their hometown. She says her grandmother is too old and weak to leave. When you're going through so much stress, the last thing you want to do is practice. Um, when you have a solo engagement or solo appearance, it takes hours to practice. So she's dedicated her time to, to coming tonight. And her colleagues and fans cheering her on every step of the way. I just have this Ukrainian kids. Yeah, I hope all her relatives and her family will be okay and this happens as soon as possible. Dechingo says that she knew people would check in on her, but she's overwhelmed by all of this support. She says she'll continue to stay in constant contact with her family for more updates. Reporting in McKinney, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News. Just a reminder of how close all of this is for all of us.